This is the third season. The second season was cut short. It seemed like it was going so well. Lost an arm. <clears throat> the good thing about this is that it makes me drink slower. Because I used to have a one beer in each arm. Um, and so now you're down to one. I still got my beer drinking hand. Was that a thrash farming incident? Let's put it this way. There's some children that are alive now and should have been dead. So, huh. it was worth it. It's worth you were going to kill them and they it's cut your arm off instead? You know, that's not funny. It was a meth lab down the street and I went in there and I said, you know, I went in and I said, hey, stop making meth and the fucking place blew up. And I woke up in the hospital and, you know, the doctor was holding my arm saying, this is what you get when you take drugs. Did you know monkeys really don't like bananas? They hate bananas. <laughs> they do. I think they hate people too because I've seen them bother who can blame them? Feces. <laughs> can you fucking blame them? Can you believe, blame any animal on this planet for hating humankind? You know that expression, I'll tear your arm off and I'll beat you with it? Yeah. That came from, like, elephants. When people hunt them and the elephant catches you, he'll tear your arm off and then beat you with it. Isn't that weird? Man. Monkeys will tear your face off. Oh, monkeys are the worst. They tear your ears no, off. they're the face worst. Off. Yeah, they're the like worst. Like that one in San Francisco where the woman had the... <clears throat> Big ass chimpanzee in a cage, and her friend came over to help her and got her fucking face tore off. This is a monkey that slept with the woman, and she would like make it proper dinners. Okay, that's a fucking urban legend. No, Come it's on. Not. <laughs> this particular monkey was living the life of Riley, and her and friend tore her face up. off. Because they like. Pull, Where did you read this? They pull. It was in San Francisco. They pull all your extremities off. Yeah, that's a real deal. She was dating a monkey. He got jealous and no, he tore her face dating. off. she was dating. Well, she was they making a together. fucking dinner. Oh, okay. They wanted to play it was that, a pet. that like liberal. The, pet. They're liberals. Like, oh, you know, it's okay if we have sex, even though monkeys we're not have rights too. But that monkey probably didn't even believe in God. Probably, probably didn't even vote. <laughs> son of a bitch. Mmm. It's pretty tasty. A little bit of sour. Am I picking that? I can't tell because I just... Because you lost an arm. All right, so let's talk about sour beers. I believe they originated in Belgium. In the U.S., uh, most of the sour beers here are from Belgium. And the unique thing about them is they have a uh, distinct sour taste. And they're delicious once you get used to them. The way that that occurred, they would uh, make the wort. And the wort's very hot once it's done boiling and you they would put it outside and, and these large open containers and let the wort cool down well you'd have yeast and bacterias that were in that area that would uh, float down right on top of the surface of the wort and there you go the yeast start eating the sugar and um, you start producing alcohol and that's how we get beer but you know when a yeast is around sugar it starts eating it uh, kind of like what I do if I see a Snickers bar in the house. And this is how the origination of the um, sour beers came about. If you're really interested in this, I would say look up the term lactobacillus. Um, there are a lot of great sour beers. They, uh, I love them now. Uh, it took me a little bit getting used to because uh, I'm an IPA guy, but uh, they're delicious. And um, another part of the uh, sour beers is the way they are aged and they put them in barrels. Different types of oak barrels impart different flavors and different types of oak barrels have yeast and bacteria in them. So, and another thing the Belgians would do was add fruit to them to impart another layer of flavors in the beer. Yeast and bacteria are floating all around us trying to kill us. Yeast and bacteria are regional and therefore we get tastes from different parts of the world depending on the yeast that are there. Wild yeast landing uh, on the wort, uh, very different from fermentation that's uh, uh, caused by brew makers. This is known as spontaneous fermentation and uh, there seems to be a trend occurring here in the US with uh, beer makers. You know, I've got several sponsors now. I don't know if you know. I've heard that. that. Yeah, I've got some sponsors. All Eastern Bloc oriented. <clears throat> Well, let's put it this way. Um, have you ever heard me criticize Putin? <laughs> I did a show 
that was never aired. Uh, but Putin saw it, and I mean, I made that whole shit up about me running into a burning building and saving a bunch of kids. Okay, I've had a few beers. I got to be honest. I smarted off with Putin. He's a big investor in the show. Mm -hmm. You know that he's a big investor. You don't talk back to that dude. Right? You don't make jokes. You know, I was like, Hey, was what about freedom of the press, dummy? Speaking of shirts, like was one. he wearing a shirt? In fact, what I said was, Hey, why don't you take your shirt off? And now I, I'm missing an arm. <laughs> Pretend you didn't know me and look up to me. What would you say if you saw me on the street drinking a beer? Right now. This you need a hand? Okay, this is my fucking show, bro. All right? Stay in, I stay wrote, in my lane. I write the jokes, okay?